Hello everybody, I'm Henry Li. Um, now I'm in my backyard to study um, some uh, long leaf blades. Uh, in front of me, they are uh, from left to right. Iris, um, Daylily, you can see the flowers here. And uh, Chinese summer orchid, Symbidium. Um, there are more large iris on my right side. So let's do um, the orchid first. The orchid, you can see the wild orchid from China. They are very thin but very strong. Unlike the soft blades like a daylily, you can see the curve is very different. Notice this this turn is very pretty sharp. That's a very typical orchid. So it's like a band. Um, if you touch it, it's very stiff. You can see the it's um, almost you know like a stick. It could stick in your eyes. You know, very uh, strong leaf. And the or the uh, daily is very soft and relatively wider. And you can see the curly. Um, age which is absent in orchid so the orchid uh, leaves are very uh, straight no curvy and uh, the iris are the widest they're very broad um, and very soft and but in this case the large one is uh, quite strong like a blade uh, like a uh, swords um, but they just you know, notice the form is very different. So uh, I will do three of them just to, to show you. I got this uh, uh, Sumi Sumi sketchbook. Uh, let's do Chinese orchid. So you would you see the the bottom of the flower here is uh, let me rise a little bit. So you can see the top as well, right? Okay. Um, it has uh, the kind of onion. Uh, so it's very concentrated, not like the bottom of the iris. Let me uh, just do all this, uh, the root part. The iris is like a fl flat. Let me show you this one. This is very clear to see. You see that fan face. A fan frame kind of like like so this is the the iris this is the bottom of the iris okay and uh, um, daily is very similar to iris see <coughs> so this is iris this is the the daily has more uh, leaves basically like iris they're flat notice the if we have the the ground here the iris is quite shallow it got a uh, onion kind of you know a, a not onion <laughs> it's a big uh, root there but uh, this has no um, like a potato kind of root root um, so this is the iris this is day lady, and the the orchid. This one. Um, notice the the shape of the the root, like a growth, the young growth here, and uh, the old one. Well, let me just, this could be buried, but uh, let me just make it clear here. So there are maybe more than uh, five or, s or uh, seven growths in this pot, particularly. And so the, it's very concentrated.
This is the orchid, the Cymbidium. Okay. Now let's do the top part. So you can start from the bottom, uh, like a, in the museum in Santa Barbara. I saw some uh, masterpieces from uh, China in the in the ancient uh, art museum in Santa Barbara, and I studied that uh, in a separate video. As you can see there, there. Um, the plant is done in almost like two uh, steps. So you, you concentrate on the lower part first. Uh, then you can do the crown kind of, just do the top part. This is a characteristic leaf right there, the, the bending leaf, very long. And then uh, this long, very, strong one or well, they come back it's very hot out here so we have to turn on air conditioning it's almost a hundred degree today even in the autumn here in los angeles there's another uh bending leaf just echo the long long one so that's the cymbidium And the flower, by the way, it grows directly from the ground, uh, uh, underground. So they are separated, not in the um, middle of the leaf, like uh, the day lady or the iris. Okay, um, this is the cymbidium. Let me do the day lady. Let me find a best angle. I think this way. I don't want to do the fan, um, the the roots. So in a side view, you don't have to do that, right? So this is the the kind of leaf. Uh, so I like a, this bending leaf. And you can vary the the width. If you outline, you can see even uh, more. Let me just outline it so you can see that kind of variation in in the width. Okay, um, a little curvy here. So let me just fill in that. This is the, the front of the leaf. See the, uh, the pressure changes. That's kind of, uh, that won't happen in the uh, Chinese cymbidium here, right? This is uh, uh, the uh, daily leaf. It varies the pressure to, to get that. Kind of feel. So don't do this with, when you paint uh, the cymbidium, all right? And uh, but there are some, you know, very straight. But you can see the uh, it's it's very soft. You can you can bend like that, but you won't be able to bend this leaf. It's very stiff. Okay, let me take that out too, so you can see, almost like this uh, iris. So you can you can go straight and then bend shortly, not like uh, the long one here, almost uh, half to half, right? Not like that. So uh, just indicate those uh, characteristics. But it's very long though.
yeah it, it's like you can curve like that almost so that that's uh, exaggerated um, the leaf of the uh, daylily okay and uh, the, the root from a side view it's like that and the flower is much higher uh, so I'm not going to concentrate on the flowers but since we have a flower I just mentioned it it's much higher than the frame of the, the, the higher than the frame of the, the leaves okay now I'm going to do the iris uh, I have a class on orchid and iris but uh, um, most people just confused them and I'm you know, I didn't make it too very clear in the class. So now is your my opportunity to clarify the iris. So I <laughs> I will do the uh, the long one. The young leaf shoot is very straight, so it's not very nice to paint. But uh, you can use a flat brush, maybe a hacky or something, uh, to do the iris. Uh, you can also outline it. Uh, so this is very typical. Also, you can do this one. Maybe um, that's similar to the class I I made. It's a um, almost like like this, and then with a par parallel uh, veins, uh, you can outline it and then use a color to fill in. You know, you can do the color first, uh, but that's the kind of iris leaf but still you know you can use the three uh, crossing row three line crossing row like uh, making the, the, the cross leaves and you had you can select you can select the leaf to fill in the uh, to make the row, but you know, omit those uh, violet, the, the row, not violet, so life. Does simulate art, not the other way around, right? So just make the, your art simulate the, the uh, art, the classic books, simulate the classic books. The, the art. So this is the iris leaf. You can also make a more you know curvy like that, but it's not very typical. I think this is too soft. Looks like a orchid almost, or kind of a large flower cymbidium. Uh, we do have that in the in the flower. We have hundred, uh, like not hundred, maybe half hundred varieties now. So when they bloom, I will introduce you different cymbidiums. Um, so that's all about uh, the three uh, blades, the um, day lady, um, the, the uh, Chinese uh, summer cymbidium. I don't know the, the official name, I'll find it and then uh, give it to you if you are interested in that. Uh, I just skipped a page, let me do a color study maybe next. Let me clean that, that the, the brush. <coughs> This nice flower is just blooming this morning. So let me do the, the flower for you. This is a, considered a supplementary class to my lesson one on uh, iris and orchid. And the lesson, I don't know uh, which, what's the number for garden flowers, including day ladies. Uh, in the summer. So my teacher uh, does this in three strokes for the front side and then the back side two strokes. So it's like that um, continuous movement. You can go maybe from outside in if it's easier to begin with and then you, put, you just go from inside out and then inside out again or from outside in. It depends on how you feel it. Usually go from us uh, inside out.
like that and then the far it goes down again in the perspective um, on the other side but you don't really see the tube but you, it shows a little bit there um, then we do the the butt we just add a little um, green let me do the stem first maybe it has this kind of knot um, with a little sticking out uh, I think that's the uh, flower dropped um, and this bud it's green with a little bit veins and one large one small two two of them this is the the stem for that so this is uh, three on the uh, one stem and then the uh, uh, the other section we just do it here large and the small by the way this is a uh, Chinese cuisine. We just had it uh, this morning. Uh, I mean, this uh, uh, lunch time in a restaurant. Very nice, very delicious. But you have to eat dry, not the um, fresh one. I think it's uh, maybe poison. Um, but uh, it's very delicious. My one of my favorite um, Chinese foods is called the golden needle. Um, because when it's dry, it's golden colored. And you put uh, the stamens. Uh, maybe we should use some more orange. There are six of them, but you don't have to do all six, just uh, maybe like that. And then um, the uh, yellow, orange yellow for, it should be a little darker. We have to exaggerate that because otherwise you cannot see the pistol that's the pistol, then the stamen. There's no dots as uh, in lilies. Um, so just as that, um, that's for the daily flowers. Because it's much higher than the leaf, so we don't have room for the leaf. Let me just add a suggestion. Uh, I like this bending leaf, very characteristic. So we just do that. Or on this side. This orange in it. Usually we don't consider perspective, but uh, since I'm using watercolor, I just make it uh, foreshortened or something like that. So um, that's the uh, colored version. You can print, print a little vein to finish that. So that's my study of uh, daily lily and uh, other long blade leaves today. Hope it's uh, a good review of the classes you have taken from my online class or the DVDs. And also we have downloadable version of the video class before. Um, if you're interested in learning more of the basics, please go to blueheronarts.com or ChineseBrushPainting.ning.com for online streaming version. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.